Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a $100 dope slime review and I hope you guys enjoy. Here are the slimes I ordered. I got I ordered 10 slimes and I got one free which is super nice. And the ones that I ordered are all 5 ounces. I like the way his new boxes look. They look super professional and they go really nice with the slime. The package was simple but really nice. We have a candy two extras baggies which is super nice they come with lollipops his business card and borax baggie which is always important one thing i really like is how he gives the invoice these are all the slimes that i ordered as you can see there's a lot but it's a good way to keep track and here are all the slimes they look super nice i love his labels they're all really different and go perfectly with each of the slimes Here are all of them together. The variety of colors look super nice and all of the labels once again are super cute. They're not slime proof but I still really love the way they look. They really tie the slime together. So all the slimes have his label on top and a warning label on bottom which is really cool. This free slime was really nice flum and I was excited to get a flum as a free slime because I didn't order many but I really like crunchy slimes. This one actually came melted which was really funny to me. Because that like never happens. Usually they're like overactivated because of the cold weather. But this was nothing the activator couldn't fix. And it was a little bit stiff in this video because I accidentally overactivated a little bit. But I have it now and it's really stretchy and super crunchy. It smells like those spicy sort of cinnamon candies. Which is not my favorite scent but it's not terrible and I really like the color. Next up, we have Fruitios, and this is a semi flown thick and glossy slime. It has really cute rainbow foam beads, and it smells really nice. The scent is not the strongest, but it's a nice Fruit Loop ish scent. And I thought it was a nice slime. The slime was a bit stiff and I wanted it to be a bit more stretchy so I added in softener from Retro Slime Company and it worked really well and it made it a lot more stretchy.
Next up we have cotton candy. This is a cloud slime and I love the pink color and the cotton candy scent is really nice. It was a bit stiff but I tried to warm it up a little bit and as you play with it it gets fluffier and more stretchy and it has a pretty nice drizzle. I was really excited for the next slime and this is Tiffany's frosting. The color is absolutely stunning. It is so creamy and it inflates and gets really sizzly. And it comes with this super cute charm that I love and it complements the slime so well. This is definitely one of my favorites and the scent is incredible. It smells like a mix of frosting and like blue raspberry and I love this one so much. Next we have whipped coffee and this is one of his memory dough textures which I was really excited to try and it is so soft it came layered just like the real thing and I actually really enjoyed the scent it smells kind of like coffee and it was so beautiful and satisfying to mix. I really enjoy his memory dough textures. They're super smooth, soft, and creamy, and very spreadable. And they also inflate a lot, and they're really addicting to play with. Next, we have Cotton Candy Explosion, and I've been wanting to get this line for a while now. 
it is a really cute blue color and it has really nice foam beads that tie the slime together and go really well with the cotton candy theme it is scented like cotton candy and it smells really nice it's not the strongest scent but it's subtle and it's good to have variations between how strong your scents are the base was really nice and glossy i wanted to play with it first a little bit and this one was a little bit stiff too but not as stiff as the other one and i decided to add in a little bit of the softener and it made it perfect The last slime that we have in this first part of the review is Lavender Dreams and this is another memory dough texture and it's really soft and spreadable and I love the color and the texture so much. It feels just like the whipped coffee slime and this is definitely one of my favorites texture wise. I really like this texture from him. I can't wait to get more in the future. The only thing I didn't like about this slime was the scent but it was not like, first of all the scent is like more of like a preference thing. But it wasn't that it's a bad sign. It smelled like lavender. I just don't like the smell of lavender. For some reason, I didn't think that lavender smelled like this. But now I know. But it's definitely a really pretty color and the texture is super nice. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you keep up with my channel for part two. It will be coming soon. Please like and subscribe.